Hey everyone, I hope all is well. My name is Ashanti and welcome to Uniquely Ashanti's Corner. Today I am coming to you with another dose of vitamin P mm -mm. <laughs> to feed your mind. And today's topic is celebrate all of your accomplishments. Celebrate all of your accomplishments. When we set out to get things done, our brains are often trained to look at the quantity rather than the quality. So when we don't get to check off everything on our to-do list, we start beating ourselves up about it, okay? We are our own worst critics. We don't take the time to acknowledge the things that we manage to get done despite the odds. I mean, let's face it. Let's just face this. Getting things done is not easy. It is not easy at all. We have families, we have off days, we get sick, unexpected incidents happen. I mean, I could just keep going on and on here. Come on now. <laughs> but despite that, through God's amazing, amazing grace, we were able to check off some things off of our list. That's something we're feeling good about because it is easy to give in when distractions try to stop us. It's important to give ourselves grace and remember that we are only human. We are not perfect. And sometimes we might even start a task and we can't even finish it all the same day. At least you made the effort. You made the effort to get it started. You showed yourself that you are dedicated and that you are consistent. And this is something that I try to keep in mind myself when it comes to searching for jobs online. When you're a person who does not have a whole lot of experience and are looking for a non-phone position like I am, finding work isn't easy, especially since non-phone jobs are very popular. <laughs> and the other issues that I come across is that the work hours may not work, there are state restrictions, uh, they want candidates with a certain level of experience, I find out that the job isn't the same as what they advertise in the job posting and many other things. As frustrating as it is, this is this often means that I spend hours looking for jobs without applying to anything. In fact, because of these obstacles, there have been times where I didn't apply to anything for two or three days in a row if things are really slow and it's like okay where are some good job leads at so yeah I'm being completely transparent here that's happened to me a few times before I often struggle with my feelings on this because I think that I wasted so many hours I also question if I really looked hard enough for jobs that I can apply to did I really even give my all that day or did I do something wrong but I have realized that there's something good that I can take away from all of this I got out of bed and I made the effort to look for work and the next day I did the same thing and the next day and the next day and the next day I'm still being consistent in my efforts as we are all aware job searching is very 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 tiring I cannot stress that enough it is very tiring <laughs> I mean that's a job but instead of choosing to give in to the feeling of weariness or allowing myself to be discouraged I choose to maintain my consistency which is not easy I'm not even gonna lie God continues to give me the strength to keep pushing and pushing and I'm grateful for that. Thank you, Jesus. That is something to celebrate. This is the mindset that I'm trying to maintain. I feel that this is something that we should all do. This is why I felt led to share this message with you all today. Always celebrate the strength and determination that God continues to give you every single day. Celebrate the things that you managed to accomplish in the day, including getting out of bed. That's an accomplishment, okay? Celebrate the quality rather than the quantity. And with that, I am bringing this video to a close. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this gave you something to think about, that this was encouraging to you. If you decide to leave a comment, please refrain from profane language, even if it's an abbreviation. And please be respectful. Please stay strong. Don't push yourself too hard. Remember, you are no good to anybody. You're no good to anybody if you are completely burnt out, okay? Make sure that you're getting some rest, okay? Be blessed in Jesus' name. Take care and stay safe. Bye.